Hello, my name is Justin Brightop. I'm here today um, to talk to you about another episode of Justin's Epic Amazing Awesome Reviews. Alright, and we have the Easy at Home Digital Upper Arm Blood Pressure Monitor. And hopefully I can try it out today without freezing to death because it's kind of cold in here. I guess I should have a heater or something in here when I'm doing these videos. I don't know. It's, I, I'm used to cold temperature, so, you know, until my hands don't move, I, I don't usually get too worried about the temperature um I, that's you know do not do that at home but that's what i do so anyway um there we go come on here we go and this looks interesting okay so i thought when i saw this that it was like a machine that you stuck on your arm and then it had the blood pressure cuff attached to it, but no, I'm wrong. Um, according to this picture here, if the picture is what's inside the package, um, this is a separate unit. So it has a really big screen, which is nice, and um, it'll tell you if there's something wrong with you. So that's good too. I might need some more batteries. I don't know. We'll see how many batteries I have here and how many this thing takes. Okay, so we're going to take some pictures here. And uh, I probably want to turn my flash on auto at least here for this. I don't know. We're going to take pictures. Okay, we'll turn this over. We got the easy at home. They always send me the most interesting things. Um, there's some things that, you know, being a single man, I just... I have to reject like a pregnancy test kit. I, I mean, I guess you could use it to check for cancer, but because if you're a man and you test positive on a pregnancy test, it means that you have cancer, I guess, um, which can save your life. Uh, here we go. So it comes in this nice, easy to use uh, pouch here and the zipper. Okay, so we're going to get a picture of it. There we go. And let's turn it around. We'll get it easy at home. It looks like it even has a strap on the top. Possibly. Possibly. It's like a little handle here or something. So we'll, uh, I'd like to get a picture of that, but it's just being, being a little bit not so nice about taking pictures. So we're not going to do that. Okay, so we take this out. We take this out. We got our batteries included. Thank goodness. Thank you, God. Okay. And, um... We got our manual here, so let's get a nice little picture of everything that comes in the kit with our batteries. And we only have one unit that takes the batteries, I think, thank goodness. Okay, so we don't need a whole bunch of batteries, we just need these four, I guess. And we got a user manual, so we're going to open this up. And I think we want to hook it up before we before we uh, put the batteries in it. So I'm not reading the manual at this point until I have to. Well, geez, that's really stuck together. Okay, now where's the, here it is. Okay, so we're gonna stick this into the side of the flux capacitor because this is what makes time travel possible right here, okay? Then, we're going to install our batteries, and that should be it. That should be all I have to do. I don't see anything here that tells me... Oh, it's got a power supply port. So, 6 volts DC. So, you can plug this in to power if you want to, which is a cool option. However, it does not come with the power adapter to do that. But... Uh, it is a pretty cool option to be able to do this. The batteries are included. Now, I say, from my thoughts, when it comes to medical equipment that you're going to use in the field, like maybe if you're a missionary or something, it's important that these batteries are included because otherwise you got to order the batteries separately. You might end up with extra batteries, you know. Um, so that's, that's a plus. Okay, so we got these industrial industrial okay well it, the, it D looks like a J so it's like industrial um, batteries here we're gonna stick them in 
and the polarity is correct with the springs, thank goodness. Some products you get from some places, the springs and the polarity of the batteries is backwards. It actually tells you that, and it's like, what in the world? Why, why would you do that? Or there's springs on both sides. I've seen that before, too. I got a flashlight that came in the mail, and there were springs on both sides. It's like Mr. Springsteen, you know, and, uh, oh, it lit up. It's all ready to go, I guess. So we're going to take a picture here, and now you can talk to me and say that I'm Dr. McQuackintosh, right? So we're going to... We're going to talk to Dr. McQuack here, and we're going to try to use this machine. So I need to get my coat off, even in this cold environment, just for you. And uh, we're going to put this on. Where's the... There it is. Okay, so we're going to put this on upper arm like we should. Okay, and we're going to hit start, stop. Now, people always complain to me that these things pinch your arm, that they hurt, that they, you know, do things. And we're going to give it a shot, see what it does. MMHG, I don't know what that means. Okay, we'll get a nice little picture here of it working. It's working hard. It's inflating the cuff. I guess they didn't have it very tight or something, I don't know. Okay, it's doing its thing. It's finally getting tight. It's got a little thing with a fist in it. It's like said to do this or something. So, E, I hope that doesn't mean error. I think on these things an E does mean an error. It means I gotta do it again. So, I probably have to make it tighter. How's that? We're gonna done it released the pressure so we're gonna make it a heck of a lot tighter we're gonna do it again when it says to make a fist and pump I'm gonna do it how's that I'm pretty sure that's what it's showing on the screen so I'm thinking that's what it wants me to do I can really hear my heart beating now. Oh, it didn't want me to squeeze my hand this time. I guess it's because I did it right. It says I'm 123 over 80 at 68. I can't see it as well on my phone as I can in person. Um, anyway, here it is. You want to see it? Okay. And uh, it hasn't released yet. It's still gripping my arm here for whatever reason. I don't know why. It says I'm in the green zone. It's got the little thing on the side and it says I'm healthy. It's showing in the green zone here. So now I can hit memory if I want to, but that's not doing anything and it still hasn't released my arm. So what happens if I turn it on and act like I want to start over? Oh, there it goes again. So it was just really tight on my arm. Well, anyways, thanks for watching the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe with Jesus Plus You. I think this is a really good product. It's very easy to use as long as you get the cuff on right and tighten it, which is what everybody's going to tell you. Um, it just uses air to go in here. Everything is universal, very easy. Um, and now it's telling me that I'm even better. It's telling me that my health is even better the second time around. It told me to squeeze my hand, but I didn't. And I don't know. It's just come on. So the second time I did this, it told me my health was better. My blood pressure is better or something. So, well, anyways, thanks for watching the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And may Jesus bless you.